Martin, Stride Free Saddle Fitter for Siren Sussex. I'm here with Melissa Beer, local dressage rider. Hi Melissa. Hello. <laughs> um, how long have you had your Stride Free Saddles now? Uh, six weeks. Yeah, and how's it going? Yeah, really, really good. Uh, I found that all the horses I've tried it on have uh, been able to connect through their bodies better and they just seem to have more freedom in their shoulders. Oh, that's brilliant. And did you notice a difference straight away? Yeah, um, uh, the minute you, you changed it for me. Brilliant. And how do you find it from a riding point of view? Uh, they were comfy within a week, so they really bedded in quite quickly. Yeah. Oh, that's marvellous. I'm so pleased they're working out. Thank, Thank you for your feedback. Thank you. Five. Why it swings off to one side. Have you ever come across that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is there is square. It's very easy to check their shoulders to see if they're square. So run your finger to the end of the scapula each side. Run your hands up like this. Like that, you see? So there's two things that tell me why his, his near side shoulder is um, further back than the offside one. This near side shoulder is slightly bigger. Just this way, come down a bit bigger this way. It's further back. But also the main thing's off to the right. So apparently 70% of horses, their near side shoulder is further back bigger. Uh, 20%. Was today the first time you'd ever tried the stride free saddles? And was it the single flap jumping saddle that yeah. you were today? How did you feel as a rider in it? I really liked it, really comfy and sat really still on the horse. And I found my horse went a lot better. He moved more freely and slowed down his paces, which gave him more time to balance. And jumping the same, he went a bit steadier, but still managed to bring his legs up and snap up to jump the jump to clean. Brilliant. And did you notice that straight away from the moment? Straight away, as soon as I got that saddle on, he moved more freely, had more space in the shoulder. And went really, really nice. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much for your feedback. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. So again, you can see average. What I always say is about the tanks, you know, it's about three inches on average. The horse is shot in the back. Some of them more, depending how big the stride is, they can make even more. But um, you know, I've had <laughs> some people say um, you should never sit the saddle here. Should sit back there behind the shoulder. But well, we all know that you never sit the saddle back there. No, it's just, and how on earth did you get it off? Right, yeah, do you properly back here? Yeah. So, if you don't want to go there. There's this. You got the idea there, yeah? That's all. So, I'm going to write this properly as, um, look, the first time. Just to go to this, the first time I heard the word trapezius, I thought, how the hell am I going to remember that name all the time? Trapezius, you know, just <laughs> about, well, it's with a muscle, where once you get the mallet, it's trapezius. And then the tissimus dorsi, the longissimus, when you see some pictures of things that look interesting, thick and ropey ones, you're really strong one. And this is, you know, when we end up with our saddle support here, this is something. So, um, let's have a look at your saddle. Yes. Can you just turn that upside down first? Show us the pack. So this is your current saddle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 